Hi, I'm Emiko Davies. I'm a cookbook author from Australia, um, but I live in Florence in Italy. I've lived here since 2005. And um, today I wanted to make a torta caprese, which is essentially a flourless chocolate and almond cake. It's my absolute favorite chocolate cake and it's really lovely, really easy to make. You only need five basic ingredients, um, almonds, which I like to grind myself, but if you have almond meal, you can use almond meal. Um, then you need some dark chocolate and butter, sugar, and a few eggs. It's a really um, beautiful recipe. Uh, it's got a little bit of a funny backstory to it. It comes from Capri, which is why it's called the Torta Caprese. And uh, there's a dubious story <laughs> about the history of the cake that says that um, uh, a chef called Carmine Alfiore was making it for a couple of gangsters who were working for Al Capone and um, he accidentally forgot to put the flour in it. It was a chocolate and almond cake and uh, luckily discovered af after serving it to them that they loved it and it actually turned out to be great. So this is one of those um, recipes that I suppose you could say perhaps came out of a failure and turned out to be a great success because it is a fantastic cake. Um, the other thing I really love about it is that it's a really easy cake to remember. Um, <clears throat> if you're using weight to measure the cake, you just need to remember that um, the almonds, the chocolate and um, the sugar and the butter should all be the same weight. And then you just adjust the eggs. So we have our five ingredients here. This is almond meal that um, is actually just regular blanched almonds that I've just um, ground in a food processor really quickly and um, then we've got some sugar, butter, chocolate and um, three eggs and this is all um, 125 grams of each ingredient it's so 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 easy. The chocolate um, I've already got melting over here in a bain marie and I'm going to add the butter to that once the chocolate is melted. So the next thing I have to do is um, just separate the eggs and I have a special assistant for that who's going to come and help me. <laughs> hey Danny. This is my daughter Mariu. Say hi. Hi. Okay. And I need you to wash your hands. Oh. She's going uh, to separate the eggs. While she's doing that, um, I'm just going to put the almond meal and the sugar over here. We're going to put the egg whites. We're going to put the eggs. You're right. Um, we're going to put the egg whites in here because we're going to. That's weird. <laughs> we're going to whip the egg whites in this. And we can put the yolks in here, okay? The yolks are going to go basically with the sugar and the. Mama, and the I, can, I can put them together. I can. You just put these ones together. Yeah. And then I have a special method. But you really. But you need clean hands in my life. Go ahead, you set your choice. Oh no! Oh no. It's gone all wrong. It's alright, we'll just do that one again. You have to make sure that you don't break the, the red part. Now to the last one. That's perfect. Great. So we separated the eggs and the yolks. You can clean your hands now, darling. Thank you. And I'm smelling the butter in here. So we're going to whip these egg whites just until they're nice and fluffy. And um, then we're going to fold everything together. And it'll just all come together into a, a little batter and then we bake it. Easy. Yes, easy. Okay. You want to come and see what I'm doing here? Come on. Just going to smooth out the top. Okay, come on. Come on. You can have this. Ooh. Here you go. Like that one? This is Luna. Let's just 
going in the oven. It's 180 in about 40 minutes. Okay, this is perfect. So what you're looking for is the top is going to be dry to the touch. It's going to still be slightly squidgy, a little bit fudgy. That's really good. If you're unsure, definitely take it out earlier rather than later. This is one of those cakes that if you're going to test it with a toothpick, it should come out with clumps of batter still attached to it and it should still be um, really moist and fudgy inside. Um, if you overcook this cake even slightly, it's just not gonna be nearly as good as when it's undercooked or when it's cooked you know, to the right temperature. So um, definitely err on the side of undercooked rather than overcooked if you're not sure. And the other thing about this cake is that it is really, really good the next day. In fact, probably better even the next day, but I'm not gonna wait. Okay, so you'll see it's not a very tall cake, that's exactly what you want. It's quite rich, so I don't think you need to have this in really big slices. Um, what I usually do is I just um, dust it with a bit of powdered sugar and eat it just like that. Or it's really nice with some um, whipped cream or even some cream fraiche or um, like thick yogurt. It's it's really nice, kind of offsets the richness of the cake. Ooh. It's got that beautiful crackly top and it is so soft inside. Oh my god, it's literally like falling apart. <laughs> under my fingers which is which is nice actually this is to be perfectly honest this is delicious just on its own with a coffee or something but um, if you like you can serve it with a little bit of cream whipped cream or a bit of creme fraiche or um, this is thick yogurt. It kind of offsets the richness of the cake. I really love it like this. It's not traditional, but it is delicious. If you can try to resist eating it the day that you bake it, which is pretty hard to do, but if you have even leftovers the next day, I urge you to try it a day after you've baked it. It is really, um, it becomes more dense, becomes a bit fudgier, it's absolutely, absolutely special. So thank you for joining me making this torta caprese with me here in Florence. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like the full recipe you can find it on Food52 where I've written uh, about 200 other articles and recipes um, of regional Italian cuisine. And if you'd like to see anything else in a video just leave a comment here and um, maybe we can make that happen. Um, and if you'd like to connect with me on Instagram, you can find me there at Emiko Davies. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks. <laughs> no, don't be silly. <laughs>